Your, your, your reaction to those very serious allegations against Belgium? Yeah, it, it's really surprising given the stringent measures that are in place to prevent this type of thing. And particularly in light of what's been happening in, in uh, Syria with regard to their obligations under the Chemical Weapons Convention, particularly after events of, of 2013 in Ghouta and, and also events across the country, it seems somewhat surprising that, uh, that a state such as Belgium is, is letting individuals and companies flaunt such stringent laws preventing anyone from selling this type of product to, to Syria because the consequences, the potential consequences of these, uh, of these goods falling into the wrong hands are absolutely devastating. What other reasons could there be for making these uh, products? Well, look, we've seen the the amount of damage that the Syrian state has been put under. We know that war is devastating, not only with a catastrophic loss of life, but we know that the rebuilding process is going to cost a huge amount of money. And more practically, there is a need for paint and for varnish and, and the, the goods and the equipment needed to actually rebuild daily life. So it is plausible that that such equipment is necessary. We've, we've heard in your report that it's needed for paints and varnishes. But uh, obviously, given the concerns that it would also have a dual purpose, that it could be used by, by uh, the regime for nefarious purposes, it really is remarkable that, uh, that a company is able to get away with this. Simon Mabon, many thanks for speaking with us from Lancaster University.